Meme Coin Max here, and I watch the charts so you don't have to. And today we're talking about this curious and cute little project called Pika Moon. And before I get into today's video, guys, make sure that you understand that this is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. And actually, funny enough, I was doing some research on this project, and I was just looking around the website, um, and then I went to go and update some stuff, and it turns out that the pre-sale is actually sold out already. So I meant to kind of like shoot this video out before that pre-sale uh, was sold out, but things didn't work out that way, and this sold out pretty fast. So that could be a pretty good indication of what's to come. This pre-sale actually meant to last for about 60 days or so, but it actually lasted only four days. So I've got my eyes on this project already. Picamoon is a pretty big project right now. There's a 40 plus team on board. Uh, they have a lot of plans to upscale huge pretty soon. As you guys can see, there's NFT play to earn aspects to this game. There's also a vast Pika verse to check out and also some Pika rewards. One of the things I do on this channel, guys, is always try to find some new and upcoming projects, but it's always a treat when the developers of the said project have been doxxed and it looks like they have been right here. So these are the developers behind Pika moon just so you guys know that there's not really much mystery behind it they're offering a lot of transparency which honestly i really appreciate especially when we're dealing with meme and altcoins it could be a pretty nasty world out there so i'm very excited to see that these guys have actually doxxed themselves and you can see exactly who's behind it so orbit cosmos is the software development team that is behind pika moon so going on to their official Twitter page, which by the way is at PikaMoonCoin, you can see here that they're showing off some pretty cool snapshots of some of the characters that you can play in this game. So if you guys are interested in what I'm talking about when it comes to this project, you'll be pleased to know that these guys actually have a beta version of the game that's available on Android and iOS. It says here you can assemble your team and pick and choose the Pika Moon to fight for you. So I guess these are sort of similar to another very popular sort of IP that we all know and love. You can customize your experience and purchase some different skins to customize the arena that you're fighting in. An epic battling experience where you can fight intelligent NPCs and also do a little PvP as well. Receive daily rewards for playing the game and also have items gifted to some of the more loyal players. Leaderboard junkies can also climb the ranks and defeat some more powerful opponents and climb those leaderboards. And just scrolling down here and checking out this page more, it looks like there's actually different factions that you can be a part of, all of which are resembling some sort of element. I'm a bit of a spicy boy myself, so I think when I start playing this game, I'm probably going to go with fire. So after the Pika launch, it looks like you can have the option to stake your Pika, earning you some passive rewards. And let's go over the NFTs and check out those actual elemental sort of characters that they had here. It looks like we have some ones for fire here. Here's a couple of water boys. I actually like this one. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, electric. So these are sort of uh, like Pika chews, perhaps. These are all evolutionary as well, as you can see, starting from the bottom and then climbing to the top. Even some of these characters looking like they evolve into literal gods. And honestly, how could you forget dragons in the mix? So I'm going to briefly go over the white paper here and just look over some very important things that I want you guys to know about, such as our tokenomics here. And it looks like there is no buy tax for Pika, but there is a very small 2.5% tax on selling. I also like this core gameplay loop image that they shared here to sort of explain exactly how the game works and how the ecosystem is going to function. All of this information and more can be found in the description of today's video. I also want to mention that Pika Moon is launching at just $10 million market cap. Popular Web3 games like Axie Infinity are at 1 billion market cap. Sandbox is also at 1 billion market cap. All of these went to multiple billions in the last bull market. And you guys know that we're currently in a bull market and it is just beginning. The bull market is about to kick off and this is the cheapest GameFi project out there. There is some massive 100x potential here. These guys have also confirmed a centralized exchange listing as well, which again is currently unheard of for a pre-sale. The growth looks like it's currently set in stone with the final phase of the pre-sale just about coming to a wrap-up. 
So it says here that they're approaching the third and final pre-sale phase. They stand at the cusp of a very exciting new chapter. Selling out this phase is not just a financial achievement, it is also a testament to the trust and enthusiasm of the community. This milestone is marking the end of the beginning for Pika Moon and the start of a journey that promises to reshape the landscape of play to earn gaming. They're going to be gearing up for some multiple centralized exchange listings of the tier one variety. These listings will obviously enhance the visibility of Pika and provide investors with increased liquidity and trading options. The NFT integration is going to take place. This will unlock some new dimensions in the Pikaverse, allowing players to fully engage with the play to earn model and explore the vastness of the gaming world with unique abilities and privileges. It also looks like they're going to be investing in multi-chain wallet integration, which is obviously a good thing. I know lots of people in some of the titles like Axie Infinity wish that there was also multi-chain integration as well, so it's good to see that these guys are going to be taking part in that. By breaking down the barriers between different blockchain ecosystems, they're going to be paving a way for more interconnected and diverse gaming experiences. It also looks like they're going to be launching some open world metaverse game that's going to be apparently pretty groundbreaking. This is going to mark the transition of Pika Moon from a concept to a living, breathing universe. The open world metaverse will offer an immersive gaming experience where players can explore, interact, and create in new ways never before possible in the play to earn space. And it looks like they're also going to be doing some esports tournaments as well. So what do you guys think of Pika Moon? Do you guys think that this could be one of the biggest projects in Web3 Gaming? Or do you guys think that this will just be another passing fancy? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, we've reached the end of today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you enjoy my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video. This is Meme Coin Max here signing off, watching those charts so you don't have to.